So recently in Vim, I discovered something that I actually think is pretty helpful to have. And that's a setting to turn on relative line numbers. So right now I don't have line numbers showing on the left side of my document here. By the way, this works in both Vim or NeoVim as well as VS Code with the Vim extension. So I'm gonna show both, but first up here, I just wanna show on the left-hand side here, if I were to run the set command here and set the relative number to true or on, on the left-hand side here, you can see, depending on where my cursor is at, if I move up here, you can see the zero line moves with the cursor. So if I jump down maybe five here, you can see zero moves down. So I have a relative line count above and below the current cursor line. And when I first saw this, I thought it was dumb. Why would you need this? And then it turns out as I've been using it more, I realized it's actually a little tool to help you when you want to make relative jumps. So for example, I'm sitting on the line here with scroll. Let's say I wanna jump up to the join spaces line. So in that case, I can see the six right next to that line. I can use six then and K, I can jump right up to that. Or maybe now I wanna jump down to the tab stop line, which is 12 below, so 12 and J. So anyways, I find this actually really helpful. I've been using it a lot lately and I find myself referring to this instead of just guessing how many lines to jump up or down, I can see exactly the line number that I want. Just type that in and hit J or K and I'm done. I'm on that line. No more guessing, no more being off by two or three lines than having to hit KKK or JJJ to move those last few lines. Instead, I can jump exactly where I want to go. And the cool thing is, if you are a VS Code user and you like to use Vim and you've got the Vim extension, well, you can do the same thing in here. So inside of here, if you just do the set command, you can see down in the status bar, I'm typing in the command. You can do relative number, run that. You can see the same thing shows up in VS Code with the caveat one difference. You can see the cursor line, instead of having zero on it, it actually has the absolute line count number on it. So this is the 49th line of this particular file. And unlike Vim, you can't get that to change to zero. By the way, over in Vim, if you wanna get that to show the absolute line count for zero, you can do that too. Just go ahead and set here and number is the option. And so yeah, over in VS Code, same idea here. If I've got the Vim extension, I wanna jump up maybe to ink search. I can just do five and then K. And now maybe I wanna jump way down to wrap scan. I can do 16 and J. Just like over in Vim, if I scroll down here, you can see the zero line is moving and then I have new relative line numbers to where I'm at in the file. And then over on VS Code, I should say the setting, if you don't wanna to have to type in the command into the status bar, that's kind of hard to do, it's really small. You can actually come into the settings here for VS Code. If you look for line numbers, this is actually an option built into VS Code's text editor itself. And it has a couple different values here. So you can choose relative like I've got right now. Maybe if I split the screen here, I can show you this. All right, so up on top here, I've got relative. So you got one, two, three, four here. You can also change this back to just regular old line numbers with on. So it's the same option merged together into one, which is why there is no choice in here to put zero on the cursor line. And so that's the setting that set relative number maps to inside of VS Code's Vim extension.